Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we're going to look at the code part 8, iteration, repeat until loop. The repeat until loop is a conditional loop that will execute the code statement until a condition becomes true. So while the condition is false, the loop will continue. It's only when the condition becomes true that the loop will stop. So in our repeat until loop, we'll have a count initialized at the start and is set to zero. The repeat indicate the start of the loop. And at the end of the loop, we are going to have a condition that will specify the number of times the loop has to be executed. In this case, this value is n, so condition that indicate that the repeat until loop will iterate n number of times. So this condition, count less or equal to n, will become true. It's only this situation that will allow the loop to exit. So the statement will be executed n number of time, and our count is incremented inside the loop so that the loop does not run infinitely. And the until part indicate the end of the loop. So example one, the writer program is a pseudo code that will input 1000 numbers using the repeat until loop. So first thing, we are going to set our count to zero, and then we're going to repeat, input uh, our numbers, but firstly, we are going to set our condition at the end of the loop. So here we have repeat input number. Count is incremented so that the, our loop does not run infinitely. And our condition is set at the end of the repeat until loop. Example number two, write a program using the code that will input 1000 numbers and out the sum of those numbers. So in this case we're going to do the same thing as before we're going to have a count and we're going to start our read loop with input number we have to add the sum of those numbers the sum is calculated firstly we have to initialize the sum the value of sum to zero before the loop sum will be simplest number we don't have to forget we don't have to forget that we need to initialize our count so our count will be count plus one and our condition will be at the end of the repeat until loop and then we are going to output our sum. Example number three, write a program to the code that will input 1000 numbers and output the sum and average of those numbers. So this, in this case again we are going to have initialize a count to zero, repeat input number. We're going to initialize the sum to zero and have the sum being sum plus number. We are going to increment our count using count plus 1 and set our condition less or equal to 1000 as specified before. The only difference is that our average will be calculated after the loop. So average will be equal to sum divided by 1000 and we are going to output the sum and average at the end of the program. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click on the thumbs up and leave a comment on how channel can be improved. Until then, see you guys next time.